Welcome back to Ohio Means Business. It can be a tough road to travel for entrepreneurs starting a new business full of detours and wrong way signs. That's why one central Ohio entrepreneur developed a unique road map to help steer people in the right direction. Joining us to go inside the research now is Kevin Gadd, founder of Venture Highway, and Dr. Sharon Alvarez, academic director for the Center for Entrepreneurship at Ohio State's Fisher College of Business. Sharon, welcome back. And Thank Kevin, you. welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. I love the, the name, Venture Highway. Sounds very similar to the song. Yep. <laughs> Tell us what it is. Is it really a road map as I just described it? Absolutely, it's meant to be a road map. So we, uh, we map where folks come in with their business from uh, beginning the business and coming up with uh, innovative ideas all the way through testing the viability of that idea. Is it a good idea or is it a bad idea? Um, through planning, through operations of the business and then eventually exiting the business. So you can, wherever you are on the highway, you can come in, learn more about that particular piece, life cycle of your business and then move it to, uh, to where you want to go. It's fair to say you're the, kind of the architect of this highway, so to speak. What, it, using past experiences, were the, were the things that, that you learned through your college career and your business career that you said, I got to put this in here because kids need to know this? Yeah, um, I had spent a number of years at uh, Tech Columbus here in, in uh, Columbus as a, an incubator uh, and helped a lot of people raise money, start the business, grow their business, uh, did a lot of coaching. Um, and there were a lot of things that I thought we needed at that point, um, as well as a way to sit back and manage all those companies in your portfolio. Um, that's kind of where we started the business. Uh, we connected with Dr. Alvarez at Ohio State uh, and realized that that same kind of uh, methodology would work in the classroom. And she was looking for a way uh, to have a better uh, experience in the classroom to uh, help the students better. Uh, and Venture Highway made, made sense for the platform for that. Sharon, it's funny, I call them kids, and they are, I guess. <laughs> and some of them 18, are. 18, <laughs> 19, 20-year-olds. Yeah. Uh, you've made a career of, of teaching entrepreneurship. Is this the new and improved way to do it? Yeah, I think I think so. We're, we're making a bet that it is the new and improved mm -hmm. way of doing it. So what we're doing is we're using Venture Highway now in place of the textbook. Okay. So that students will buy the system. It's interactive. Uh, I'm developing material as we speak that will be textbook-like material, so they don't totally get away from having to read materials. But then they read the material, and they're able to enter into the system their businesses, their plans, their thoughts. And what's really cool, we teach a Foundations of Entrepreneurship course uh, to the undergrads. And so they're able to take the system, put in a bunch of ideas, kind of soul search a little bit using the system, and and at the end of the day work on something that they want to develop. And this will change, right? So the average entrepreneur changes their business three times before they finally decide, get it right. Mm -hmm. And the students are no different from that. But, but they're able to do that with Venture Highway. Yeah, and the Venture Highway, we should mention, it's not a one-time deal. It's not a semester thing. It, they take it with them, right, that's Kevin? That's right. Yeah, we think that that's uh, something new, um, that they can still go into the system even after the quarter's over. Uh, because entrepreneurship is, is, if you're really going to go into it, it's a life, uh, it's a life yeah. thing. So they'll g continue to go in, um, they'll, they'll move to our non-university model, uh, the, the traditional model I mentioned earlier, uh, <clears throat> so they can begin to, to try out things and test the viability and come up with new ideas and innovate for new things. Eventually they'll run it through and hopefully come back through. You've heard the term that people are born to do certain things. Well, maybe some people are born to be entrepreneurs, and maybe others claim, well, that's just not in my blood. You, you guys disagree with that. Anybody can be taught, right? Anybody can be taught, right? And some people are more successful than other people, you know, just like accountants, right? We teach accountants. No one likes to think about people being born to be accountants, right? You teach people to be accountants. And it's the same thing with entrepreneurship. And some will be more successful and others will be less, but we can teach everybody. Yeah, we, uh, we, we both believe a lot in this, and we, we, we both have, have been uh, examining some studies, uh, recent studies on this. Um, it's been, uh, both of the studies found uh, that, that even taking one entrepreneurship class, even if you're not going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going to be a business person and work in a big company, even taking that one class makes you more successful in that environment. And taking two classes in entrepreneurship um, there's a higher rate of success for those businesses once the students graduate and move on. Uh, so it's, uh, it's definitely a growing market and one that was, we both felt was very ripe for change. <clears throat> the, the students don't want to have the textbooks. <clears throat> they don't want to carry around a textbook. 
Um, they want to learn, they want to feel, they want to touch, they want to ask people, they want to re record their um, ideas and then change them and pivot as they go along. Um, so we think, we think we're on to something very cool here. The, the other thing that's worth noting is as we change, so when they buy this particular system, the Venture Highway system, and they have it in their undergrad program, but as we update information, they also will have the updates available to them, even if it's five years down the road. So as long as they have the system, it isn't like now you have a textbook that you have the fourth edition and your first edition that you bought is outdated. This will always be up to date. I hate selling those textbooks back <laughs> to the bookstore and uh, no I feel back like they sales. got the best of me. Um, let's talk about entrepreneurship. We've talked so much on Ohio Means Business about taking an idea and the challenges to seeing uh, it come to fruition, right. uh, you could say. Uh, but what are the biggest challenges? It might be capital, but maybe beyond capital, the biggest challenges for entrepreneurs today? So I don't know. We've, we've never talked about this. I think it's management talent. Yeah. Okay. I think, you know, at the end of the day, being an entrepreneur means doing things different than the flow. And that's one of the challenges we have in business schools, right? I mean, what do we want to teach people? We want to teach them, you know, accounting and finance and, you know, HR and all the things that are traditional. And then we want them to break out of the mold because that's what entrepreneurs do and do something different. And so it's having to understand that challenge, having to be the kind of manager, the kind of leader that can lead an entrepreneurial firm. An idea and money doesn't always translate to the success, would oh, no. you say? No, I, I mean, I think, uh, just to follow along that, I think, um, and, and that's what we do in the in the foundations class and even the more advanced classes, is we just try to give the students that, that base level to get started. And I, I think the hardest part of any entrepreneur is to get started and get that first dollar. And, and really we're focusing on, you know, you may have to concentrate more on the marketing of your new product or the product and the you know, development of your new product or sales or whatever, but knowing the basics of those uh, various attributes is, is really key so that you can get that first dollar and that you can continue to grow. Because you can always go back and <clears throat> take more classes on accounting or hire an accountant or whatever, but it, it's that passion and that ability and the flexibility to make it through uh, and get the plane up off the ground, actually. So there's marketing, and then there's marketing when you have no money. Right. And, right. right? And Problem. Very different right. skills. Very it, different they're skills. different skill sets, and that's what we hope to teach the students, are these different skill sets, or at least to expect that the skill set's going to be different, so that when it happens to them, or when they're having to chase that first customer, right. they're like, okay, we're not weird. This is the way it is. <laughs> Very cool stuff going on over there. Now I have the song Venture Highway going yeah. through my mind. <laughs> But it's Venture Highway, and it is a fascinating idea. Kevin Gadd, the founder of it. Uh, Dr. Sharon Alvarez, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you again very here much. On Hi, Means Business. Thanks.